Uh, whoa. Whoa. Oh my God. It was almost a tragedy. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> Alex just almost knocked over a table. Well, this wasn't such a <laughs> shitty goddamn mic. <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway, it was a horrible human rights atrocity, <laughs> not the Milky Way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. podcast yay <laughs> you uh if you watched the fresh till death podcast then you know exactly what today's podcast is going to be yes it's part two of 80s and 90s trivia mm -hmm. so we just wrapped up 80s and 90s trivia our goal was to see if we could get to 20 correct first that didn't happen alex got to negative 20 i did <laughs> and i got Five, right? Yep. Or, negative 20 to five. Yeah. Along with like some of the negatives, I got up to five. Anyway, now we're going to play stoned mm -hmm. and we're going to see Alex wins if she gets to four right. Yes. Because you're not good at 80s and 90s trivia. Definitely not good at <laughs> trivia. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I win if I get to 20 right, which probably won't happen because yeah. of the negatives. So I get a four, he gets a 20, 420 smoking. Haha. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what are we smoking um, today? So Alex? today you're smoking something different than I'm smoking, mm -hmm. but it looks really good. It's from Juicy Joints. It's actually a CBD and THC pre-roll. Oh, that's cool. And it's cool. cotton candy. That's um, cool. I like the CBD. Uh, <clears throat> there are some things that are just strictly CBD, which is really nice for me because I deal with a lot of anxiety and stuff. Can you like talk into the microphone right there? Are you I mean, I talking like, really, into like really Was I not away. talking into the microphone? I'm you're sorry. You're far away. <laughs> <laughs> um... But the CBD helps with the anxiety, so yeah. I'm interested to see how the CBD and THC He goes. has severe paranoia and anxiety yeah. when he smokes. Yeah, so I do. we try to get him to smoke Indica's, but then he gets like super tired. So mm -hmm. I found this THC CBD one, and it's 50-50. Um, so we I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, we talked to this bud tender, and they were like, um, try this for <laughs> like the uh, paranoia and anxiety and stuff. So I'm going to so actually gonna smoke, smoke something different mm -hmm. because I'm not... <laughs> Because I hey, can actually fucking smoke weed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to smoke Scored today. Is that it's from a Finland? hybrid. Is, there, is it Scored in Finland? I don't, it just sounds like a name they would have in Finland, like the Scored. Um, scored. It's, it's probably. Scored Scored. Um, it's probably locally grown somewhere around us. Okay. And it's called Chocolatina. And it's delish. So now we're smoking. This podcast <clears throat> is going to be on iTunes as well, so uh, if you're not on the YouTube right now, then you can't see what we're doing, but we're smoking our... I'm smoking my CBD joint from THC. Juicy... Well, THC, THC and CBD yes. joint from Juicy Joints, and Alex is smoking Scored. Which, by the way, Juicy Joints love Juicy Joints. Yeah, that company is awesome. Go check out Juicy Joints. Uh we smoked something else of theirs, and I really liked it, yep. especially for somebody like me, like who has the paranoia and anxiety and all that stuff, like intensified when he smokes. The last thing we smoked from um, Juicy Joints really was nice, and I'm already two hits, and I'm already stoned, so that's good. Ooh, but their pre rolls taste good. Like they're wrapped. Yeah, and... they're wrapped really good. Like this actually tastes nice. Yeah. And paper that has like a flavor. <laughs> How was your chocolate Latina? Ooh. Chocolate um, Latina. Chocolate Latina. Yeah, it was intense. Really? Good stuff? Mm hmm. So, I'm going to keep score again. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> some of the ashes in. <clears throat> I think I'm done. I am uh, already quite stoned from the juicy joint. Quite stoned. There's a coffee cup over there. I can... There sure is. 
Should I get that coffee cup? Should you get your Should ass I? up and go fucking put I'm that gonna up? I'm going to go fucking... That? What I'm going to do right now, because I don't I don't want to get this on Give me that the f- couch. <laughs> it's um, I almost... Oh, my God. I almost ashed it on our new leather couch in our studio. And that would have been bad because that would have left a hole in it. And it would have, it would have, I would have burned the couch. Oh my god! And you, you ended up getting up and getting the shit. Because this is what happens when I smoke. I start rambling and shit. Uh, whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! There was almost a tragedy. What's going on? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alex just almost knocked over a table. Well, this wasn't such a <laughs> shitty goddamn mic. <laughs> oh shit! What's so- wrong with this goddamn mic? <laughs> Oh my god, it's ball? fucking it's like a limp dick. Hello. Our I'm just We so we changed up the studio um and now it's just like a couch and everything else and <laughs> I have these mic stands that fucking suck and I need to get new ones and they're really hard to get to stay in the right place. And this one just keeps like every time Alex was talking to it it keeps like dripping like drooping down. It's like you know after right after right after a dude busts and their wing just kind of slowly falls down. That's what it does every time. Your face just slowly just... Holy <laughs> shit. Did I get it? Yeah, but it's not going to be in your mouth and in front of your mouth. You know what? Now. I'm going to talk just like this. <laughs> okay. Is that great? It's too close to it. No, it's not. Okay. This is how I normally have to do it because no. you yell at me for not talking right into the mic. When have I ever yelled at you? Let's go back. We have it on video. How many times have you t- yelled at me about talking? Can you talk into the mic? I've n- that's not yelling though. I said I call it yelling. I was like, excuse me, tisk, 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 ma'am. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, or, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> I'm not a sir. Excuse me, sir, ma'am. Whatever you are, I don't Whatever know. Whatever the fuck you are. Whatever you want to be called. Can you talk right I into the microphone, please? So talk right into. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. Yeah. Are you ready for a little trivia now? Now that we've fucking yeah, we burned the couch. Okay. <laughs> the tables are falling the over. Mic. <laughs> this is like a bad, um, inf- a bad like anti-smoking weed PSA because you know how they always make things everything really dramatic. Oh it's yeah, like, for sure. Smoke weed and you burn your couch down. You know that weed commercial is like, and like it like slides oh, the, off the, the couch. Kid that was in the ca- oh, I used like to- this. Here, let me see if I can do it. Okay, mm. ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly how it was. <laughs> Uh, if you're if you're listening to this on iTunes, go check the YouTube later yeah, and just look at the plant, beginning of this. Our new, our new fake plant is great. Yeah, the new fake plant looks good. Uh, just put them right here. But that okay. was that that those uh, anti weed smoking ones was like that was Johnny definitely, doesn't that was do definitely anything an all day or whatever, and he's like just laying on the couch, and I was I was like, it looks like he's having a pretty nice time. Like, yeah, he's fucking I mean, chilling. but they like it looked like he melted into the couch. Yeah, and, like that was definitely an indica in the oh, couch. Yeah. I mean, hello. Mm-hmm. For sure. Okay. He, he was smoking indica, <laughs> and it looked like he was enjoying himself. Those anti those anti weed smoking um, PSAs did not work at all. No, it's just like sweet. He gets to sit and fucking be a part of the couch and watch but TV all day. Sounds great. The gateway drug. It is. Uh, all right, you ready? Yep. Eighties and nineties trivia. Stoned. <clears throat> Who's going first? I'll go first this time. And like to task you. You're gonna ask me? Okay. Yep. All right. What was Ace Ventura's occupation? Pet detective. Bingo. Boom. Easy. Oh, let me get a... <laughs> I'm stoned. I forgot what we're doing. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So Ready? you're at one. I am at one. Positive one. This is a movie question. Yep. And please get this. Ready? Okay. <laughs> I just feel like you should get this. Okay. In what movie does Tyler say, our generation has had no great depression, no great war, our war is spiritual. Our depression is our lives. Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Fight Club, the movie Fight Club. But it'd be awesome if Forrest Gump delivering that line. It's like such a the Forrest Gump movie was such like a motivational movie. Negative one. <laughs> <laughs> our generation has no great depression, no great war. Our war is spiritual. Our war is <laughs> our exactly. depression. Is our lives. That's who I pictured saying it. <laughs> that exactly. Life is like a box of depression. You never know how you're going to feel. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> you never know how you're going to feel. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. 
<laughs> who played the okay it's my turn i'm high okay yeah. who played the singing bartender miguel morez on the soap opera general hospital oh you know this i don't know i don't do you know this no i didn't know this but you should because you watch tv yeah but i didn't watch a lot of um soap <laughs> operas that's a soap opera you definitely i feel like you knew soap operas i did watch some soap operas <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i don't know that i don't know uh i i, I don't know i can't even guess who um ricky martin Oh, God, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, he was in a soap opera. That's right. Okay. Uh, all right, You're ready? Back at zero. Yep. <clears throat> this one, I'm going to go ahead and throw out a guess. Okay. You're not going to get it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what revolutionary 1980s band was comprised of Thurston Moore, Kim Gordon, and Lee Ronaldo? The Beastie Boys. <laughs> no. <laughs> Every single 80s and 90s music question you answer, the Beastie Boys do. <laughs> if you missed the, the regular version of this that we did for the Fresh Till Death, oh, shit. Alex answers every single year <laughs> question with 1996 and every single music question with the Beastie Boys. <laughs> and All now right. I'm wondering every movie question is Forrest Gump. Everything in the 80s and 90s. I only said Forrest Gump once, okay? I didn't say Forrest Gump the last time. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, <clears throat> who played Judge Harry T. Stone in Night Court? Oh, uh, um, oh my God, what's his name? I also had this question asked to me on the last time we did this. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so should I get a different card? Yeah, I get a different card because okay. I know the answer and it's going to, I'm going to get it in a second, but you did ask me the okay. last time we played 80s Nights Trivia on the what podcast. What is it then? You should remember. Uh, <laughs> it's on the, I can't because I answered Judge Reinhold on the last one and that was wrong. <laughs> I remember the whole question. I answered Judge Reinhold. I was wrong, and it it's wrong. Harry fucking Harry. God damn it. It's Harry something. Fuck me. <laughs> Harry. Oh. It's a three. Uh, it's right It's a three-syllable last name. Harry. Three-syllable last name. Damn it. <laughs> fucking. I cannot pull it from my and head. It starts with the first letter, letter of the alphabet. And if there's three syllables, that's like two good hints. With the first letter of the alphabet? Yeah, it starts with Anderson. A. Yes. God damn it. Thank you. Oh, wow. That felt good. I'm going to give that to you. Harry Anderson. That was a stretch, but you're at one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your turn. All right. You ready? Yep. Uh, <laughs> you're not getting this one. Fuck. Who played MacGyver on the TV show of the same name? Jubal. <laughs> <laughs> I did not play MacGyver. <laughs> I mean... We're going to okay, change our me, last name. Let me, to... let me actually say that again. Mm -hmm. No, I, I have no idea. Never mind. But yes, we were going <laughs> to change our last name. To MacGyver. We were. When we got married, we changed it to Fresh instead. Uh, because really we were like, um, that's funny, but the joke will probably get old if we yeah. had MacGyver, but it would have been <laughs> so, funny to be MacGyver. Uh, yeah, Fresh is better. Richard Dean Anderson was his name. Okay. Not related to Harry Anderson. I already put myself at negative three. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> um, uh, all right. So, okay, so I switched cards. So what category are we on? Uh, sports. So we're on sports now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What country won the inaugural Ruby World Cup in 87? Ruby or rugby? <laughs> rugby. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm like... Maybe there's a Ruby World Cup I've never heard of. Holy shit. But I feel like rugby would be. This is not okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not okay. Who won the Ruby World Cup? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Princess Esmeralda. <laughs> she wore the most rubies that year. <laughs> Stop. Who wore the most rubies in 1985 Stop. and won the Ruby Cup? Stop. <laughs> Congratulations, okay, okay. the Ruby Cup goes to Princess Esmeralda <laughs> of Scotland. No, no, it's rugby, okay? <laughs> what was the question anyway? I forgot the question now. I'm going to go to a different fucking question. No, 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 I, I want to try to answer it. <laughs> I want to try to answer it. I want I a new question. Okay, you can give me a new one, but I want to know that. I want to hear the question again. What country uh -huh. won the inaugural, right? That's how you say it. Not, yes. Because I know... Rugby <laughs> World Cup in 87. You got three choices. <laughs> uh, New Zealand, South Africa, or France. It was New Zealand, right? The All Blacks? No. No, who was it? Yes. It was? Yeah. Yes. 
Are you going to give me that? Are you going to give me that? I even knew the team name. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. You're two and I'm at negative three. This right. is not going well. <laughs> not going well. Oh. You should get this one. For of sure. course, and I'm not going to. Do. Name the two-time NBA All-Star that was known for wearing uh, dra- for dressing in drag. Do I need to read that again because I read it weird? No. Um, why would I know that? Was it? Um, How would you? Magic not? Johnson. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. You might want to edit though. that out. I'll edit All it right. out. Okay. This- <laughs> We just edited out a portion just of leave the it, show. Just leave it in. <laughs> just leave it fucking in. Are you sure? I don't know. It's edited out. Okay, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> there was a portion edited out. Hashtag too soon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, but no, Dennis Rodman is the answer. And that makes sense. Okay. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> something negative for. <laughs> All right. Uh, next question. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. What flamboyant character is Australian comedian... Barry Humphreys, better known as. Say, read that one more time. What flamboyant character is Australian comedian Barry Humphreys? Do you know who that is? No. Better known as. He's Australian. Flamboyant. Because it Crocodile Dundee? No. What? Dame Edna? Don't know. I don't either. <laughs> don't know at all. I feel like I should know that, though. Okay. Whew. You ready? <laughs> yep. What anime series from Japan? <laughs> oh, you should get this. Okay. What anime series from Japan gave children seizures in 1997 due to rapid flashes on the screen? Hello Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. Five? Hello Kitty was a super fast moving anime. <laughs> negative, Just, negative five? <laughs> yes, negative, negative five Pokemon. <laughs> Kids are watching Hello Kitty just having seizures. They're just like, oh my God, Hello Kitty. And the, um, I didn't know what else to say. Do you know what the duck's name in Hello Kitty's named? Um, sushi? <laughs> no. Ahiru no Peckle. Why would I know that? <laughs> I have no idea. Why, Why would I know, know that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What does it even mean? I okay. have no idea, but it's a duck. All right. I think maybe it's called Peckle because they peck. Like, Peckle. Beep, beep, beep. And its real name was like Ahiru. I have no idea. Okay. Uh, <laughs> But I, I don't even fucking know how I know that. That's the one thing I know about Hello Kitty is the duck's name in Hello Kitty. You know more than I know. I know, but that's weird that I know that one thing about Hello Kitty. I don't know anything else. But was, it a, was it a whole cartoon? I don't know. I, I know they were guess. stickers. Okay. Okay. Anyway. They had a store. They did? Yeah, in Alderwood, at a mall. Yeah. It's like the... How do I know the duck? What is, Why the fuck the, would I know the duck? I don't know. Because people remember strange things. It's so weird sometimes what your head remembers. Sorry, that's stoner talk right there. That is. It's weird what your head remembers sometimes, though. Like, obviously, at some point, I, n- I have no idea that Hello Kitty even had a store or a cartoon or what it was. I know there were stickers, and I know the duck for some reason. I didn't know about the duck, so. Yeah, exactly. Okay. The duck is not a well-known Hello Kitty thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's fucking weird that I know an obscure Hello Kitty fact. Which I don't even know if I'm right on, honestly. I might be wrong. <laughs> Did you want to Google it? No. Yes. Okay. I'm going to Google this because I'm stoned. Sorry. Okay. One second. Okay. One second. I'm getting my phone in my pocket. Google. What What was the duck in Hello? Look, it doesn't even it doesn't even pull it up as a as a suggested search. That's how obscure that. Do you remember how you learned? I don't. I don't. What was the duck in Hello Kitty named? Peckle. Peckle, Peckle. I do know Peckle. Yes, I got. Sweet. Congratulations. Thanks. That wasn't the question (laughs) on. (laughs) This is what happens when I get stoned. I start going off on fucking tangents. By the way, how is that CBD and THC joint? Really good. Good. I'm very stoned. But I also don't feel super paranoid and everything else. So that's good. Anxiety's decent. Yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah. so what are we on? Are we on a new card? Yes. Okay. Um, so it's my turn to ask you? Uh, yes, because I asked you the Hello Kitty thing that I went off on the fucking thing. Okay. Okay. So I'm negative five mm-hmm. and you're at three. Okay. Okay. What 1987 movie starred Steve Martin as a charming man with a very large nose? Oh, uh, Roxanne. Yes. Roxanne, Roxanne. 
<laughs> all she wanted to do was party all oh, night. Oh, that's what it is. Goddamn. Wrong <laughs> So what am I at now? Okay, you're at four. I'm doing better stone than I did not stoned. <laughs> yep. That's for sure. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. What 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 is the make of oh, and I can't even read. What is the make of car that Marty uses to go back in time and back to the future? <sighs> Aston Martin. <laughs> no. Dang it. DeLorean. <laughs> God, I knew that. I thought you would get that one. I'm at negative six. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. What does Frankie what what does Frankie goes to Hollywood think you should do when you want to come? <laughs> Oh, uh, <laughs> that's you, the name you, of a song, right? It's a music question. When yeah. you want to come. When you want to come. When you want to come. Is that? When no, that's when you want to go. That's a, when you want to go. You know what song I'm talking about? No. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> you should shout. No, what? you should relax. Relax. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that I know oh the, what the reference is from, but I don't know the song. My allergies yes. are so bad right now. Really? Yeah. I think it's the weed. Like, mm. yeah, weed might affect your allergies. Oh my god, I have the worst allergies ever. And, and just I in general, like, you have bad allergies. I do feel like weed. Mm-hmm. I'm allergic to some weeds. I think you are because I notice sometimes when you smoke, you you start sneezing more than you like, do normally. It's, but it's not. It's just my throat too. Like it's super phlegmy. Yeah. But it sucks. Yeah, you but might I have. I think there's I think a lot of people who might like have a little oh bit of weed gosh. allergy. I mean, you're allergic but to plants and stuff like that. So severely. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. What seasoned movie actor co-starred? Oh man, great show. Okay. One of my favorite shows. One of my favorite shows. Imagine Jax obsessed with this show. That was me. As okay. A kid. All right. You're not gonna get it right. I know. You don't even know what the show is. I, nope. What seasoned movie actor co-starred in Airwolf from 1984 to 1987? Harry Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Prince Freddy, Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> I thought that's what I thought well, you meant was Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Harry Jr. <laughs> no, I'm dead. Ernest Borgnine. I wouldn't have got that either, <laughs> even though I love that show, but. <laughs> Harry Prince, Harry Prince Jr. Freddie Prince, Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's all really right. funny. Okay, my turn. Um, Gary Cole stars in what short-lived drama about a town called Trinity in South Carolina? Uh oh, it was a real small. Uh, read, read it. Read it again. Gary Cole stars in what short-lived oh. drama about a town called Trinity in South Carolina? What was it called? Oh, my God. What's the name of it? You know it, huh? I mean, I know it because I, I read what it is. You've heard it before? No. Oh, what? It, God damn it. Twin Peaks? No. Not Twin Peaks. It wouldn't be Twin Peaks. It's not Twin Peaks. One Tree Hill. Nope. American Gothic. Oh. Oh, shit. I remember that show, though. I don't. Okay. Ready? Yep. True or false, the NCAA instituted the shot clock in basketball in 1985. True. That is true. You yes. got it right. Wow. Negative six. You should have been like, false. It was 1996. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, who presented the 95 Rugby World Cup trophy to South African captain Francois Pinar. <laughs> Did I say that fucking correctly? Probably. Oh my god. It sounds like it to me. Oh my god. Francois Pinar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In 1995. I gotta say who it was? Yes. Gerard Depardieu. <clears throat> no. I just went with the French guy. <laughs> Nelson Mandela. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at one. Oh, and I'm god. at negative six. All right. Ready? Yep. What is the Voigtkampf machine used to uncover in Blade Runner? Say that again. What is the Voigtkampf machine used to uncover in Blade Runner? There's no fucking way you'd ever get that. The Voigtkampf? <laughs> the Voigtkampf. Voigt? Yes, the Voigtkampf machine. Can you define what that means? <laughs> Can you... No, because if I define it, it means I'd give you the answer. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Void uh, comp. Okay, say so the whole question one more time. All right. What is the Voigt comp machine used to uncover in Blade Runner? It was a thing that uncovered replicants. 
So what would it uncover? Little people. <laughs> <laughs> I gave you the answer. What is it? I said it was a thing that uncovered replicants because you asked for the definition. So I was like, I'm going to give you the definition to see. Define replicants. <laughs> exactly. I don't even, f- I think they were like, uh, they were like clones of people or clones like as a replicant. That's why so they little people use the Voight comp machine to like be like, that's a fucking clone. Okay. Maybe we should have that one out too. <laughs> what? Little people? Yeah. Oh, it's fine. Because it could have been. You never know. Okay. It was an it was a nineteen eighties <laughs> sci-fi movie. Those things so, were exploitive as hell. All right, ready? What is that? What? Negative. Whatever you got on your score. There. Seven. <laughs> Negative seven. Kay. Okay. Who was the first drag queen supermodel? RuPaul. Yes. Yes. You got it. I didn't know that. Work. Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> You're not an idiot because you don't know that RuPaul was the first. I just don't like. I don't keep up on famous people for anything no, you don't. at all. That's actually nice, probably. <clears throat> mm-hmm. All right, ready? Uh-huh. How young was Britney Spears when she first appeared on Broadway? In 96. She was... <laughs> she was seven years old. No. 13 years old. Oh, eight, 10, eight or 12. Eight years old. No. <laughs> 10 was the answer. 10 years old. <laughs> Oh, uh, did you have it had it had multiple choice. Why I didn't did you give say you, that? I don't know. Oh my god, that would have helped me. <laughs> what were the multiple choice? Eight, ten, or twelve? Ten. Yes, you got it right. <laughs> Congratulations. Good job. Negative six. <laughs> I didn't even know Britney Spears was on Broadway. Okay. Okay. What eighty nine film f- follows the relationship between John Cusack and Lone Sky after the graduation from high school? Say anything. Yes. Yes. You know what that one is? No. The guy holding the radio out on the front lawn with the big jacket on? No? Very famous movie poster, very famous scene. I don't even know if it was a movie poster. Famous scene. It was t- in cinema. Very touching. Ne- right? Never seen He's it. He's trying to get her back, you know? Never even heard of it. He's trying to get her back. Yes. He's trying to get her back, and then she's like not talking to him stuff, and he fucking does like, fuck it. I don't give a fuck if it's raining. I'm going over there. And he throws on his fucking beige trench coat thingy and goes over there, and he stands and fucking with the radio, and then he's blaring the music, and the fucking rain's pouring down on his head, and then she look, comes to the window, and she's like, oh, my God. That's the sexiest thing ever. Made my pussy wet. Very inspirational. And then they get back together. <laughs> I don't know if that was the actual lines in the movie, but that's what happened. Huh. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. then. Okay. Well, you got that one right. Oh, uh, yeah. so now it's your turn. No, yeah. Now it's you. You ask you a question. Yes. Okay. Uh, who was the first Puerto Rican golfer to be inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame? <laughs> Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> You got it right. Neil Armstrong was a Puerto Rican golfer. They also called him Chichi Rodriguez. <laughs> so did I get that point? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, so I'm negative seven then. Negative seven, all right. All right. <laughs> okay. What British new wave band was part of the new romantic movement and topped the charts with True in 83? Wham. No. Who? Spando Ballet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're in two. <laughs> Damn it. It's going to take forever to get to 420. We're going to have to give up again. You're at negative what? Seven. Okay. And I'm at negative. I'm You're at, at two. Two. It might have to be four and then negative 20. Yeah. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yep. Uh, what genocide occurred in 1994? Um, The Milky Way. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> The Rwandan genocide. <laughs> Horrible. You know what it was? Hotel, you ever see the movie Hotel Rwanda? No. no. Oh. Rwanda? No. No. Oh my God. Anyway, it was a horrible human rights atrocity, <laughs> not the Milky Way. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, fuck. It's so funny because you have no idea what that was at all. And then also just your answer is fucking so hilarious. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Sorry. 
Go for it. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. I'm at negative eight and you're at two. Yes. <clears throat> okay. What actor from the Mary Tyler Moore show played Captain Merrill Stubing mm-hmm. on the love boat? Um, oh, uh, oh, what is his name? God damn it. It's not a uh, Gavin McLeod, is it? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you, boom, boom, Did you boom, fucking boom, look boom. at these cards? No, I know Gavin McLeod. Fuck yeah. He yes. looked at these cards. Okay. I had a fucking <laughs> Dodgers hat autographed by Gavin McLeod when I was a kid. <laughs> I did. Okay. Ole Hershiser and oh, Gavin shit. McLeod. That's so fucking weird. Okay. Do you know? You don't know. The, so I had a Dodgers hat, right? Because I was a kid in LA and I mm-hmm. didn't really follow baseball that much. But if I followed baseball, it was the Dodgers. <laughs> Oral Hershiser was a pitcher for the Dodgers. Like an okay pitcher, right? Not like, like a Hall. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe a Hall of Famer. I don't think so. And I had, I had him. Out of all the people in the 80s, you could have an autograph hat from, right? All these great players because the the fucking in the 80s the Dodgers were huge they still are but anyway I had him like mm-hmm. a kind of okay pitcher and Gavin McLeod from the love boat on an autograph hat why do I fucking <laughs> still have that that's weird yeah <clears throat> all right anyway I'm asking you a question now yes. <laughs> it's a movie question yep you should get <laughs> it right uh, what 1988 tearjerker starred Bette Midler? Oh, this was such a sad movie. Bette Midler and Cecilia Carroll, a C.C. Bloom. Jeez. I hand the rocks a cradle. <laughs> Your answers are fucking killing me. I don't know if it's because I'm stoned or because it's just hilarious. <laughs> That's like all the shit I remember from like the 80s and 90s. <laughs> yeah. 1996, Hand the Rocks the Cradle, Forrest Gump, <laughs> The Beastie Boys. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy <laughs> shit. And then the movie's such a touching movie about, like, the love of, like, a mother and a daughter <laughs> and fucking mom dying and shit. <laughs> Beaches. Beaches. Beaches? Oh, my God. You Beaches, Beaches was a good movie. Yeah, yes. it was. Fuck, that was a sad-ass movie, it too. It was. And you, you compared <laughs> it to the Hand that Rocks the Cradle. <laughs> Oh my uh, god, Beaches was a great movie. It was. It was such a good movie. Yeah. We should watch Beaches together. We should. I haven't seen it since probably the first time I saw it. It's not like I was bit, like I watched Beaches like like I did uh, Cool Runnings. Yeah. They didn't I air Beaches as much as Cool Runnings, but Beaches I remember was a good movie. it being on a lot as a kid. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay. Okay. Who was considered to be the top NHL player of the '90s? Mario Lemieux uh, or Wayne Dominic... the Great One Gretzky? Or the that... '90s? Sorry, uh-huh. go ahead. Wrong. I'm probably wrong. Go ahead. <laughs> Mario Lemieux uh-huh. or Dominic Hasek? Uh, I would say Mario Lemieux. That's what I want to say. <laughs> yes. Okay, good. Yep, you're a four. Okay. <laughs> Thanks right. for not letting me finish my answer. <laughs> I was about to say, that's what I want to say, but I'm probably wrong, yeah. so okay. Okay. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Ready? <laughs> yep. If you say the Beastie Boys on this, I'm going to lose my shit. I'll probably fucking... Okay, there's no way you don't get this right. Okay. No way. You will get this right. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. Who recorded the album Doggy Style? The Blue Man Group. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really not know that? Doggy Style? Yeah. Snoop Dogg. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if yeah. you really didn't know that, I was about no. to lose it. Okay, no. you got that right. Okay. Because you yeah. knew it was Snoop Dogg, right? Yeah. You said Blue Man Group. Some okay. negative eight. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> what presidential candidate was a spokesman for Viagra in 98? In 98? Uh, it should have been Bill Clinton. No. Uh, what presidential, say it again? What presidential candidate, candidate was a spokesman for Viagra in 98? Al Gore? No. George Bob, Bush? Bob Dole. Bob, oh, Bob Dole. Damn. Bob Dole. Forgot about Bob Dole. Okay, let's go. Forgot about Bob. This is fun. Okay, ready? Yes. What was the name of the news director in WARP in Cincinnati? Say that again. No way you will ever get this one. Okay. I, I also watched this show a lot as a kid. <clears throat> what was the name of the news director in WKRP in Cincinnati? Del Earhart Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Is that correct? You combined two people, Amelia Earhart and Dale Earnhardt. <laughs> you said Dale Earhart Jr. 
<laughs> yes. The son of the woman who made the first attempt to fly, who made the first intercontinental, whatever the fuck it's called, plane trip, <laughs> <laughs> who eventually disappeared. And okay. the racer, Dale Earnhardt and Dale... <laughs> Dale and, Earnhardt Jr. I don't know. <laughs> and Amelia So Earhart. I got that wrong. Okay. Yes, you got Great. it wrong. All right. Les Nesman. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm ready. Oh, it's my turn to ask you. Okay. Yeah, but did you get your point? Did you take your name? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did. What what 1981 movie starred Dudley Moore as Arthur as Arthur Bach and John Gilgold as his quick-witted butler Hobson? Ar- Arthur. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was hard. That was hard to get through. <laughs> All right, ready? All right. Yep, as ever. Magic Johnson revealed that he had AIDS. <laughs> All right. Let me finish this. Okay, go. Okay. okay. Now think of your answer that you just had. All right. Michael Johnson revealed that he had started a charity for young. Just kidding. The answer is AIDS. Oh. Because it was he revealed he had what disease in 1991. But I was trying to make <laughs> it. Yeah. He revealed. So you got that right. Yes. Um. Negative eight. Uh, okay. Okay. What do a <clears throat> originally recorded under pressure in 1981. Under pressure. Burr, 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 burr. Under pressure. I don't fucking know. Uh, under pressure. Yeah. Ding, 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 burp. <laughs> yes. And that's the shit that uh, Vanilla Ice sampled. What is the answer? Um. God. Genesis? I don't Queen know. and David Bowie. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have no fucking idea. You're at three. Um. Damn, this is going to take forever to get it's to 420. It's just still fun. Who cares? We'll just give up whenever. Okay. At this point. Who wrote the novel Train Spotting? Who wrote the novel Train Spotting? Mm-hmm. Just had a question about Train Spotting in the first when we were doing the Not Stoned Steven one. Steven Spielberg. <laughs> God damn it. The Steven. Only... And he's not a writer. <laughs> Even on the last one. God damn it. <laughs> Stephen King. No. <laughs> Arl Stein. No. <laughs> uh, Irving Irving <laughs> Irving Welsh. All right, I, negative I, I wouldn't have fucking known negative that. But one. you gotta if you if you're just checking out the podcast one, make sure you go back and watch the Fresh Till Death one or listen to the Fresh oh Till Death God. one from Monday too, because You'd, a lot of this references that Alex is making will be fucking even funnier I'm to you. I'm trying, okay? I'm like... I know you are, but I'm just saying odds? it's like, really funny. It oh, you'll okay. get this one. Okay, well, but it's my turn. Okay, yeah. What show's theme song asked you to set up or set a course for adventure? Your mind on a new romance. Um, oh, uh, The Love Boat? Yes. Of course, I would know that. Yeah, you would. Gavin McCloud's my boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Love. Exciting you and new. Dee, 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 dee. Ready? Yep. What profession was Julia Roberts' character in Pretty Woman? She was. She was. Don't know this. No. A personal assistant. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> a wedding planner. <laughs> Definitely not. A fashion designer. <laughs> no. A therapist. You're, you're naming off like every female <laughs> character in 80s and 90s movies. <laughs> That's yes. what they all were. In the 80s and 90s, every female character they gave them was either you were a uh, yes. assistant, you were a fashion designer, you were, oh my God. Dang but, it. No. Okay, negative 10. In Pretty Woman, she was a prostitute. Gotcha. So I've, <laughs> you never know that? No. <laughs> that was really nope, funny. I haven't watched the whole thing. I told you I didn't watch. Yeah, but you know she's a prostitute right at the right at the beginning of the movie. I don't remember ever watching She's it. She's literally turning tricks at the beginning of the movie. I don't remember anything, though. Really? About the movie. Oh. Yeah, I don't. Well, she was a prostitute who became a f- professional assistant and wrote a fashion magazine. You know how I feel about movies. I don't I know. give a fuck about it's movies. It's really okay. funny. It's just funny to me. I know. I mean. Okay. You seem annoyed. I mean, I know, like, The Mask. I watched The Mask as a kid. <laughs> that was a good movie, <laughs> It though. Takes Two. Yes. Mary Kate and it Ashley Olsen. a lot. I would come home and I would make two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and I would watch It Takes Two every single day after school in elementary. We watched it the other night, actually. We did with the kids. And you know what? It wasn't as good as I remember. I was going to say it was better than I remember, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I used to, I watched that hundreds uh, of times. Okay. Okay. Uh, what goalie won four Stanley Cups? Two with the Montreal 
Canadians and two with the Colorado Avalanches. Do you have choices there? No, you don't. Oh, man, I don't know. It's Patrick Roy. Oh, I think you gave me that question last time. His name's Wa, Patrick Wa. Patrick Roy, R O Y. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Roy, R O Y. Yeah. Somebody correct. I only know that because I think you asked me that one last time and I said Patrick Roy and then somebody corrected me <laughs> in their comment section and said it's actually Patrick Wa. And I was like, oh, yeah, oh, that's, that's funny. funny. Okay. So, anyway, you ready? <laughs> yes. Who replaced David Lee Roth in Van Halen? I'm going to go with um, the vampire in Transylvania. <laughs> What's the name? The vampire in Transylvania? Yeah. Dracula? Dracula. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dracula did not replace David Lee Roth in it wasn't. Van Halen. Wasn't. It was Sammy Hagar. Okay. Very close, though. Gotcha. Very close. Okay. Very close. <laughs> <laughs> what 90s hit mentions wanting a little bit of Monica, Erica, Rita, Tina, Sandra, oh, Mary, Mamba and Jessica? Number five. Yes, you. Yes. Give me some competition on that one. <laughs> Jesus. I would have even gotten that one. <laughs> you wouldn't have? I would have. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. It's a TV okay. question. Okay. Oh, my God. You're not. You probably won't get this because I feel like, honestly, I feel like this one might be a little bit before your time, even. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. but great show uh really good show okay what tv show featured a young fred savage growing up in the 60s roxanne <laughs> <laughs> no close very close though the wonder years okay did you ever watch that i've seen it <laughs> <laughs> but not really i've seen it <laughs> okay okay all right <laughs> What 90s mafia film features Ray, Ray Liotta, Joe Pesky, Goodfellas. and Robert? Yes. Yes. Good movie. Yes. He gets all coked up at one point and he thinks everybody's following him and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never seen it. Okay. <laughs> um, how many NBA championships did Michael Jordan lead the Chicago, Chicago, Chicago Bulls to? 11. No, six. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What's that? Yeah, negative 13. Mm -hmm. Okay. What one hit wonder released the song? Who? I mean, what? Yeah, what one? Hit, sorry, fuck. This is super easy and not fair. Who wrote the song Ice Ice Baby? Who wrote the song Ice Ice Baby? Yeah. Vanilla Ice? Yes. He actually wrote it himself? Yes. Good for him. I thought it was going to be some kind of trick question, like who actually wrote it? Because, uh, you know, sometimes a lot of those guys don't write their own shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what did Lorena Bobbitt cut off? A for dick. husband. Yes, she cut his penis off. I know that. I'm a negative 12. She cut his penis right off. Name right. Jerry Seinfeld's fat neighbor. Fat neighbor? Yeah. It actually said, said read, reads like that? Mm hmm. Uh, name Jerry Seinfeld's fat neighbor. Oh, what was his name? Oh my God, I can't. I can't. What's his name? You just said it. Newman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking of someone else. Uh, there was another guy. The mailman. Yeah, yeah. But there was another guy who I thought, oh, anyway, whatever, okay. Newman. Okay. All right. Um, what classic science fiction movie features the line, I'll be back? Like, I'll be back. Like that? I'll be back. Men in Black. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's kind of like a... Spacey movie, The Terminator. Oh, dang it, I knew that. <laughs> I freaking knew that. Damn it. Where are you at now? What's your score? Uh, negative 13. And I'm what? You're at nine. <laughs> I like the movie ones. I know, the movie ones are fun. Uh, oh, it's my turn. Your turn to ask me. Uh, okay. Should we wrap it up soon, too? Sure. We're like 45 minutes. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. We can keep going. I don't care. Um, I'm just asking you. No, we can keep going. Okay. In what year did Gary Bettman become the NHL commissioner? 85, 93, or 97? 93. Yes. Yes. I remembered that, actually. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> You're not going to get... You probably won't get this. But I like this song. Who wrote the hit Nothing Compares to You, covered by Sinead O'Connor? Celine Dion? <laughs> no. <laughs> Prince. <laughs> you know that song? Nothing compares to you. No. Okay. Okay. 
Or are you asking me? I'm asking you. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Who directed the Thriller 7? Who directed what? The thriller, oh, the Thriller. The Thriller 7. 7. Um, oh. Not Steven Spielberg. <laughs> Hilarious <laughs> no. it was. Uh, who was it? Oh, my God. Ah, I don't know. David Fincher. I would have been wrong. Okay. All of the guesses I was going to have would have been wrong. Oh, you will get this. Okay? Okay. Which famous twins got their acting start on Full House? Oh, Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. I just said that. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> did you just go like that when I said it? Yes, I did. Because <laughs> uh, it takes two. We were just talking about their yeah. movie. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Oh, you're asking me now. Yeah. Everybody um, everybody Have Fun Tonight was a song by what new wave band? Wang Chung. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, that was actually the name of their band, huh? Yeah. You know that song? No. Everybody have fun tonight. Everybody Wang Chung tonight. But um bump. Nope. No. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. Who did Wayne Gretzky surpass in 1989 to become the NHL's all-time assist leader? Um, that one boy in Mighty Ducks. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name? You know what I'm talking about? The goalie? Uh, was it the goalie or no? No. The chubby one? <laughs> yeah, no. I think it was the goalie. I don't I think he might have been the goalie. I don't know his name though. I can't. Anyway, look him up. <laughs> Do you want to look it up? <laughs> no. I'm oh. Look him up though where he's at today. Gordy Howe. I don't think the kid in Mighty Ducks ever went on to play in the NHL. I don't think he did. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so what disease did the World Health Organization take off its list in 1990? Um, uh, uh, not malaria. Definitely not malaria. Nope. <laughs> not Ebola. Way off. Not Ebola. Way off. <clears throat> What disease did it take off? What disease did the World Health Organization take off its list in 1990? The flu? No. What? Homosexuality. Oh, shit. Yeah. That used to be on the CDC's website as a disease? Yeah. Holy shit. Can I see that question again? To the bottom. Wow. That's not even that long ago. It's not. It's Holy not. Holy shit. That's fucking shocking to me. <laughs> Wow. All right, we'll wrap it up on this one. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Okay. I find you a good one here. I want to find. I want to find you a good one if we're gonna wrap it up. Okay. And I want to ask you a movie question. <laughs> God. I'm gonna ask you a movie question. <laughs> I want to find a good movie question though. Oh, here we go. Okay. This one. There is no way that you don't get this. <laughs> okay. And I know I've said that a few times, but I believe that there's honestly no way you don't get this. I'm pulling for you. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. What 1984 movie featured lovable furry pets that turn into monsters and take over a small town? Tremors. <laughs> no. <laughs> With Kevin Bacon. <laughs> That movie was so goddamn bad. That movie oh. scared me really bad. <laughs> it, 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 <laughs> I was a little kid. Oh, uh, that movie was awesome though. It was like a terrible. There's a lot of really bad movies back then, and that was a horrible movie, it but was. so good, but so good. And <laughs> no, because remember it was like worms that were taking over the town and fucking eating people and shit. Yeah. You remember the it, they'd come out of the ground and yes. they had like these yes. multiple mouths. Trimmers. And it's like oh, there's no way they could even reach that guy, and then mouth, 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 mouth. Remember? Yes, I remember. Oh I used God. to watch it, even though it scared me really bad. I watched it a lot. That was a, that was a movie I watched. <laughs> I would eat two peanut butter jelly sandwiches. I'd watch it takes two, and then I would watch Trimmer. <laughs> yes, and then I'd watch The Mask, and then I'd go to bed. But it's just funny the question though. Feature lovable furry pets that turn into monsters and take over the t small town. It's kind of right if they weren't furry yeah. and they were worms. <laughs> They could have been furry uh, in their last life. <laughs> and then they're, now they're not. <laughs> and they just didn't show that far. <laughs> and then 
and they were just these moms um, about to go over the town because it did. And the similarity in names too. <laughs> Gremlins, Tremors. It, that's oh my fucking gosh. such a good answer, but no, <laughs> you got it wrong. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right, that's All right. it. There's I'm negative no 15. I'm done. Negative 15 and I got two. You got to 10. 10. That's All really right. good. So there's n- no way we're going to be able to get to 420. <laughs> that's it. But that was a fun round of 80s and 90s trivia. <laughs> we, we hope w- you guys did better than I did. <laughs> yeah. You didn't do too or bad. Me, I didn't, but... Well, I didn't do great either. You guys probably did better. Uh, Anyhow, who I think wants everyone... to challenge me at, at trivia? Oh, shit. Trivia challenge. Trivia Alex comment. trivia challenge. Comment comment and let us know if you want to challenge Alex at trivia. Challenge me at trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you can challenge me at trivia? Because I can probably I knew that hockey name Patrick Roy spelled R O Y. So R O Y bitch. That's Roy in America. <laughs> Not wherever you're from, so I'm gonna <laughs> say how Roy. How I pronounce it? Okay, I'm it's going Roy. to say Roy. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you, Roy. <laughs> Mr. Roy. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, well, thanks so for yeah, checking out the podcast. Whoever gets the worst score wins. Okay. So whoever wants to <laughs> challenge me, <laughs> comment if you want to challenge Alex. So all we're right, gonna make so, another edit right there. It's like <laughs> so we made an edit. It's fine though. Should we talk about making that edit or no? We just we just edited that piece out because we didn't want you guys to hear. But it's fine. Just keep yeah. acting like we just didn't make that edit. We didn't make an yeah, edit. It's okay. fine. Um, but yes, challenge Alex to trivia with <laughs> your wrong answers. Wrong answers only. Um, all right. And other than that, I think that's, uh, that's it. That's it for the podcast. I love that one. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for checking out the podcast. We should do this more often. We will. We'll do this more often. Definitely. Yeah. We need to get more cards though. Cause yeah, we're running out of cards. Okay. Not like we could remember them anyway. <laughs> yeah. I know. I would not be able to, cause um, I don't know any of them. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'm stoned. Okay, well, y- you guys know what to do, you know, with liking and subscribing. But right. tell your friends. Yes. Share. Share it. Please share these videos or tag people. Yeah. Um, do it. And the podcast is on Tuesdays mm-hmm. right here on YouTube. Um, it's going to be on iTunes this week as a special. Yes. What do you call it? I call it a bonus episode. A bonus episode. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Wednesdays. Is the Jubal Show, which is on iTunes and YouTube. And then on Monday is Fresh Salt Death, iTunes and YouTube. Yeah. So review it, Boom. share it, yes. have people um, tag them on YouTube and blah, 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 do it, blah, do it, blah. Do it, do it. Do it, do it. Yeah. Yes. I look like that kid in the weed thing right now on the couch. I'm you also got there. another like um, blood boil in your eye. Really? Yes. He gets these things all the time. Like, what are they from? Should I show the camera? Are they from stress? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Open it like this. And just look straight in. Straight in the camera. Look to the, um, look over by the chair, the blue one. Other way. (laughs) Your eyeball, not your head. You know, so it looks like you're looking this way, and I'm like, no. Yeah. Okay. All right. So if you saw that, let us know what that is. What is that? <laughs> My eye keeps exploding. All the time. Yeah. I think it's from stress. I don't know. Probably. Probably so maybe you should just go have some bottomless mimosas. Let's do it. Let's get day drunk, bitch. Let's go retox. We detoxed. We let's detox. Retox. Let's retox. <laughs> Once you detox, you gotta retox. You That's know. right. Once you detox, you have to retox. Hashtag mom life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. All right. Okay, we'll see you guys next week. Bye.